In this tutorial, we will go totally crazy. We will do something interesting with an image. We will use transparency, we will use design, we will use inserting photographs. In the end, we get an interesting effect and I hope you will like that. Hey, I want to show you a really nice trick. Let me use an image for that. I have some candles and flowers. Maybe let's use those candles. It will be just an example. So I have this... Uh, why are we making this PowerPoint? Options. PowerPoint designer. No. See you, bro. Okay, he's deleted. So I have this image, but this would be kind of boring for a background or whatever. We could crop it to the size of the slide. Yes, of course we could do that, but how do we want to bring more into this background? How do you want to make this more interesting? Well, we have some color corrections, coloristics and artistic effects. Those effects are not bad, but they are pretty heavy on your PC. But if you really want to make this stand out and make it better, I want to show you a few tricks. Please take this image, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V. We have now two of them. I'll place this one directly above this then I'll go to In My Format tab to Crop, Crop to Shape, and I'll, for example, use a shape like this. You can see apparently nothing happens, but watch that. We can start to make a difference. At first, I'd like to adjust this crop. This already gives me a great effect on this image. Just watch. I did one thing. I can duplicate this. I can even... Oh, do I have too much of them? No. Okay, I'll place it like that. We can also click on crop. You don't only have to work here, you can also click on crop and you can adjust the crop here. But I kinda like this big crop. Let's maybe make two of them. Or let's stay with this first one. To make this a bit more appealing, we could, for example, blur this element. Artistic effects here on the far right side I have blur. You can see this is really slow on the PC, but I'll try to manage. Right click, format picture. In the second tab, at the very end, we have the artistic effects we added. The artistic effect is the blur. Here we can make the blur a bit stronger, but I'll not overdo it. I'll make it 20. I press on crop and I'll make this smaller. Okay, crop. I bring this to where the candles were. Okay, I can see it in the background. I press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and here on the right side, but now I would need to adjust this because this would look totally weird. I would click on crop. I would put it somewhere about where the candle is. This would be a good base for me to start working with this image. Look at that. We adjusted the background. We made something original. We made something new, fresh, and this would be really a great background for any purpose poster or or anything you'd like to design do we still have time in this tutorial okay one single more step shapes if i insert a shape i will be able to change the transparency now i would need to tinker with this shape i would need to extend it a bit i would need to make it like that okay or maybe make it bigger right click format shape okay we are already here and in the fill I will select picture fill. Since we have this image placed, what's cool here, we can work with the transparency. Now it will be kinda slow, let me delete the old effect. This gets really slow on PowerPoint, but look how amazing this is. We get really those nice, those, those transparent effects over this image, we get a glitch on the image, and I really do like what we can achieve with just one simple adjustment to a picture. This background is something different, something original. It's really fresh when it comes to design and visuals, which I do hope you really like. Okay, see you, and I hope you will enjoy more tutorials like this from me.